Hello and welcome to John Boy and Jake TV. It's Friday, so we're going to watch a random game show. Last Friday, we watched an episode of Threes, A Crowd from 1979, and it was a wild, weird, scary ride. And we didn't understand what was happening. It was very confusing. We need to watch another one. We're actually recording this at the same session. Need to watch another one to figure out what this show is all about. Jake, are you just as scared going into this? Do you think there's changes to be made? James, let me quote one of my more famous favorite quotes. Everyone has a plan until they get punched in the mouth. And that's what mm -hmm. happened to us last episode. Yeah. Um, you know, the plan is, you know, we see some people, crack some jokes. <laughs> we got cracked. Yeah. <laughs> right across the jaw. Um, I mean, opening question was, do you hold yourself back from having sex with your assistant? <laughs> and that took us off. It yeah. kind of knocked us off a little bit. So uh, interested to get into this one again. Um, and again, you know, we're going to, if there's going to be some sexist undertones, some late 70s creepy vibes, and now I'm here for it. And right. I'm, I'm going to fully immerse myself. Here we the go. Chuck Berry stages in Hollywood, California. It frees a crowd. Could you turn up the audio on the uh, thing a little bit? Turn it up. Now, yeah. well, let's meet the husband. Husband number one is a manager who never gets mad in the face of anger. Let's hear it for Ken Kola. This Great is look. my man. Husband number two is a director of sales. His favorite one is Soupy. Please greet Ooh, Dave is that Britain. different hair, different mustache color? You don't see that Husband enough. Husband number three owns a trucking company. He works of in the course this now, dude owns a trucking company. Have the run. Oh, man. Hey, hey Tony Palazzola. <laughs> He owns a trucking company and thinks he owns like, you know, he runs his trucking company like it's the mafia. I mean, that collar is tough. Oh, thank you very much. Long collar. Thank you and welcome to Three's Crowd. Long collar. You know how we play it. Each of these husbands is about to find out who really knows him best. His wife or his secretary, the team that does the wives of secretaries. Do we like the host or do we just feel like empathy for the host? I don't know. I don't know. He didn't do much. For you know? more Lounge. Yeah. Right here on Game Show Network. Like, he almost asked the questions and then... Time they do, we give them a point. The team with the most points at the end of the yeah. game divides the cash prize. Gentlemen, first question. Since you've known your secretary, how many times have you told your wife that you wanted to fire her? Tony, how many times have you told oh, Barbara okay. So I like this Diane? direction yeah, better. Yeah, this, this is a good start. 100, 100 times. Dave? 100. <laughs> uh, three. Three times. Ken? I'd say twice. Twice. Gentlemen, what is the one thing okay. you like best about the chair your secretary sits in most often at work? Dave? Uh, the way it makes her skirt hike up. Okay. Oh, oh my God, God. Dave. Uh, <laughs> it's always warm after she gets out of it. Thank you. Oh, what did he it's say? It's always warm after she gets out of it. Is that free? <laughs> is that <crazy>? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I was a. I was gonna make a joke saying I hope someone just says they're jealous of the chair itself. <laughs> yeah, like it goes up um, and down. It swivels. Oh no, I meant like someone making a sit on my face joke. But uh, uh, um, um, my guy went a step creepier accidentally. That's creepier than the skirt thing. Like imagine like the secretary. The, heat, uh, the like secretary the heat that her farts give off. The secretary gets up to go do something like lunch break and he just scurries over and sits in her chair. <laughs> that's creepier other, than being like, other yeah, I can see some of her legs. Other thing that's tough is like, we're not going to get these answers. Like the first guy said a hundred times I might fire her, which, okay, that, like that's, I think that one is the best chance because that's like, a, oh, he must have said it a hundred times. Like the other yeah, guy, yeah. Like three, two. Yeah, the, um, the guy who said two was like, because the guy who said three was like, I think three, two, two times. And the bigger thing here is, I mean, what if the girl does guess? He, he's like, oh, he always says he likes the way my skirt rides up in that That's chair. what I was going like, to say. Then, that's that's what I was going to say, Jake. Then, like, obviously he's a known creep or uh, it's bad. It's a weird question, and I thought it was a very easy one to not throw yourself into the shit with. We're two for two guys throwing themselves into the shit. Oh, and I mean, look who's look who's batting three hole. Like it's not going to get better. Yep. Here we go. Feels it. Wait. It's warm after she gets out of it. Thank you. Cool. Just the way she feels it. The way she feels it. Okay. 
Gentlemen, what is the it's last an thing okay answer, that happened to your but not good you compared to the other two? The yeah. Of the office? Ken. Uh, it's say our shaving cream fight. <laughs> Tony. What is it? it? It's like I think it's what's something that you guys did that that became the talk of the office. And he said our okay. shaving cream fight. So him and the secretary got into a fight about shaving cream. She maybe brought fight with shaving cream, Jim. Was it with? I don't know. Ken. Uh, to your wife in the nude that became the talk of the oh, office. Oh, wait, hold on. What is the last thing that happened to your wife in the nude that became your... the talk of the office? Ken. Uh, it's say our shaving cream fight. <laughs> Do we just live in totally different times? I think so. Like, so this is basically what stories do you tell about your wife naked at, yes. at, at, at your work? Unless it happened at the office, 20? but yes. How's the pool? I just pulled the hmm? towel off. Pulled the towel off. Pulled the, the towel off. Thought about what the neighbors would say. Uh, what about the neighbors? Wondering what the neighbors would say if they saw it. Oh, Okay. <laughs> Give me quite a start there. Yeah. This is in the backyard or something, Dave. Uh, um, I think when my daughter pantsed her. That's a good answer. <laughs> That's a pretty good answer. That's a pretty good answer. Okay. How about pants Gentlemen, being around for if you knew 60 you years? You had only one week Lifetimes. to live. Would you or would you not make whoopee with your secretary? One Here we week go. to live, Tony. Yeah, absolutely. All right. <laughs> Dave? <laughs> yeah. 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 Only Ken? let fear stand your way. Hmm? No. Hmm? No. Hmm? <laughs> you wouldn't. No. You're a straight guy, Ken. You bet. Got a lot of respect for you. It'd be funny if his secretary was a dude. Thank you. <laughs> 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 straight guy, Ken. Hey, I think... I don't think we had the full description of this show <laughs> coming into it. Welcome back to Breeze the Crowd. And now it's time to be my secretary, secretary, Michael. They tamed down the questions from the last episode. Yes. Yes. Just slightly. Look at her, what's yes. The difference? Here's Tony Johnson. I mean, she might be kind of devastated when she finds Chicago, out that he said he wouldn't sleep with her. Yeah. Wind in Al Capone. Welcome Donna Felkner. Same haircut the lady Number had in the last born one. Born in Detroit, and her favorite car is the Mafia. That's a hood under the hood. Welcome I mean, Diane that guy thinks he's in the Mafia. Yeah. And once again, Maybe. Okay, husbands, we've recorded your answers on those cars that you have in your laps. Every time your secretary matches your answer, her team receives a point. And, gals, that's important because we keep score. And the team with the most points at the end of the game will divide $1,000 in cash. Good luck to each one of you. Here's your first question. Since he's known you... How many times has your boss told his wife that he wanted to fire you? Tony? I hope none. No. <laughs> You're a good secretary, I'm aren't great. you? You are great, yes. No no big mistakes that would no. cause no. That sounds fine to me. Ken said twice. 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 Yeah. Both times you asked for a time off. Oh boy! When I want a time off. But who all this time? <laughs> yeah, I guess that's me. You mean you mean that all she did was ask for a little time off, and same, you wanted to fire her? Same time I wanted off. She got it. Tony, this guy sounds like a. She tyrant. got it. How many? I'm she about to it. fire you if I could. I mean, she's what, about to feel a lot like better. In the Is he really that tough? I didn't think so. He's really nice. I mean, he didn't even tell you. No. You didn't even come and tell her, Ken. No. You just. She, the little Lack girl says, gee, could I have a little time off, boss? And you go home and say, I'm going to get rid of her. Wouldn't they take... I knew I probably wouldn't, but... Time off together? we got along, but now I wonder. <laughs> and Wouldn't it make sense to take time yeah. off together? Donna, what about Dave? She, All she, the time he's she still does a lot of tasks. I probably wanted to say it about... No, we do, now, don't give me too many answers now. Remember, i got to take an answer. Uh, I would say three times. Three times. Why do you think three times, Donna? Whoa. Whoa. Three out of 700 isn't a <laughs> I guess that's reasonable. Dave said three times. That's a match. And again, man, this is this is going back. So you have to consider, Dave, like, again, this is like were? office wife. So when the boss is, I like, think away. the last like, time she asked for a raise. Um, they have power. The last time she threatened to leave. <laughs> and Does she uh, threaten to leave often? Um, oh, once or twice a week. <laughs> <laughs> have you given her that raise Good yet? Good answer. Uh, no. That may no, be why. Coming up. Diane? I say about a thousand times. About a thousand times? That should count. That's you stuff get that should count. <laughs> Not at all. What, what's the problem, Diane? 
He, he says sometimes he's the secretary and I'm the boss. He says I'm too bossy. He calls me commander. Ah, okay. <laughs> Tony said only 100 times. <laughs> See? That, yeah, I mean, that's question. what that what is the one should thing count. Your boss likes best about the chair that you sit in most often. All right, let's get fucking weird. Donna? Probably wear too short a skirt then. Gets a little bit revealing, so that would be the only... The only thing I can think Donna, of. Donna, you? <laughs> well, I've been trying to get this raise, so I've been trying every pot. <laughs> <laughs> Dave said what he likes best, the way it makes your skirt hike up. <laughs> Diane, what about your chair? Ooh. Um, I like it because I'm sitting in it. Just because you're sitting right. in it. That's what he likes best about it. Tony said... The way you fill it out when you sit in it. I mean, yeah, that There's counts, kind of. Tell me, what about, uh, what about They Jack? gave it what to him. Like no, about that they had a little, like, fake he little kiss him. there. Why don't I fill it out? The way you fill, fill it out. out. Yeah, Just let's stole get honest that. about this, Tony. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Ken said, it's warm. Oh, how nice. Oh. Oh. It's nice to sit in a warm chair. Yeah. Yeah. Gals, what is the last thing that happened? Oh, my God, dude, that's so creepy. That's so that gross the- when you sit down in a chair and someone else's heat is all up in it. Yeah, I think we might have actually been the ones that went off the deep end because the way they reacted was like the warmth of her being there, like the warmth she provides to the office, not like actual chair warmth. <laughs> no, I think his the way he was like the, how warm it is after she gets up was like how he said it. He did phrase it that way. It it came around this round to seem a lot nicer. Well, he 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 was like, yeah, 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 that, 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 that. Yeah. <laughs> I don't go run and sit in your chair let's, when you go on lunch Let's not break. watch the tape. Let's not watch the tape. <laughs> it became the talk of the office. Now, Diane, we're talking about Barbara. Come on, you know, he came and told you about it. What was it? Probably that she was caught swimming nude. She was caught swimming? Who caught her, Diane? Some of the neighbor kids down the street. I mean, that's oh, the same yeah. thing. Tony said her towel got pulled off. You didn't tell us about that, Tony. Oh, the pool? Uh, good save. Not I think they're watch. telling the same story. Tony, what about uh, we had what neighbors? About Cherie? Can you repeat the question? You don't know what his is the life. last that thing stuff that happened happens to Cherie all the time. in the nude that became the talk of the office? Remember, Ken's already told us you can't hide anything. Probably because, um, that she went swimming nude. She went swimming nude. Ken told us they had a shaving cream fight. You didn't tell me about that one. I didn't? No. (laughs) Talk of the office. I mean, that sucks for the wife. What sort of things does he tell you, Tony? It's a tough spot. He doesn't really say that much about you. He kind of hides it. It's a little more embarrassing. I don't know. Shaving cream fight's kind of fun. That's what the Yanks used to do after wins. David told me that he never sees his wife in the nude enough. So that's probably. Doesn't, I think doesn't see her there enough. Yeah, Dave said uh, she got pantsed. You know that one. <laughs> it's it's uh, keeping things from. Clearly, these Dave stories were not the talk of yeah, the office. If your boss, no. knew which it might be the best thing, to that there wasn't a yeah. uh, 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 main answer. You. Now he's been told it's only one week to live. Tony, what do you? What about Ken? No, Ken seems to be. Pretty. He loves Cherie. I think he would not want to. He would say no. That's awesome. Okay. Right there. Yeah. No, 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 no. Maybe that's part of the hope behind this is that you get some good. Donna? Uh, you didn't have to write no Dave? that many times. And then I think kiss. Dave's just a typical man. Yeah. I think if he had a week to live, he'd probably do almost anybody he could. So I would say yeah. <laughs> 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 is, 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 uh, he that sort of guy around the office, Donna? No, but I think if he had a week to live, he'd make up for all the time he could. <laughs> That's actually Dave, respectable all around a little yeah, bit, I guess. Match. Yeah, why not? And Dave. I mean, the end is the Take most obvious yes in the world. He's one the week. Italian macho man. <laughs> I think he'd make whoopie with anybody, yeah. He would. And Tony yeah. Dolas, yes, he would. All right, give, give me a pause. Because I, I think I have a game for this game. Whose assistant is going to look most like their wife? Um, I'm guessing that couple right there. I'm guessing the, the that the that couple with the she's I don't know what she's got the bob cut. Yeah, the middle couple. I think that is the safe bet. I think Italian mobster wife is gonna look the most different. Ooh, yeah, that's. Uh, I think that is kind of a good call. Horny Italian likes the variety a little bit. Mm-hmm. 
okay. dude, this is uh, this is much better than the episode we watched last week. Much better. They they've grown. They were just tearing couples apart last week. The first question of the last game was, "Have you slept with your secretary? Have you slept with your secretary?" Crazy. And and kissing on the the lips like that a peck has changed over time. Like I know back in the day it was not considered. I'm still trying to. Tony What's this Corona yeah, thing? Jim, wife number one hates Okay, work. they don't look alike. She's got more of a hippie vibe to match his hippie vibe. The longer yeah. hair, middle That's part. That's a good hippie couple, man. Yeah, I like them. Yeah. Now a leading contender in the Dust Bowl. Welcome Sherry Cola. Wife number two specializes nope, wrong in there. financial operations. Your favorite run was noodling wow. the buffalo on an old nickel. Here's Roz Britton. Wife number three likes And they kind of look alike. Too good because her husband usually throws her off the road. Look at that. We blew it. Who's the most Barbara wrong? Palazzola. Now back to you, Jim. Okay, wise as you know, every time you match your husband's answer, your team receives one point, and the team with the most points at the end of the game, secretaries or wives, will divide up $1,000 among them. Here's your first question. Good luck. Since he has known his secretary, I want you to tell me how many times your husband has told you that he wanted to fire her. Barbara? All the time that he's known Diane. How many times? Mm. Twice a week. About twice a week. Now, how many times, how many weeks is this? Give me that's a hundred. Number, that's like around a hundred. Ten years? Oh. I can't count right. that high. A long time. Yeah. Mm. Oh. Be about, uh... Oh, I can't even add. <laughs> well, Do the I'll math. You're going to get it right. Just toss out a number. Uh, 950. 950 it. times. Terrible. Tony said only 100 times. Twice a week's what, 104? The other eight 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 she eight. had it. Mm-hmm. Diane, tell Barbara what you said. I said a thousand. Yeah, oh, I'm not going to get lost in the numbers. They should have given the options. Now we're talking about Dave and Diane. It should have been like now he's come home once, and says, Doggone it, Roz, you wouldn't ten times that over 100. How many times he said, I, 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 boy, I'd like to fire her? Oh, probably about 10. About 10 times, huh? Remember any of the instances? Oh, boy. Not really. This, I, yeah. Off-handed remarks. Comes home in a if bad you kind of combined his their hair, it kind of yeah. makes his Dave hair. Dave told us that only three times. Dave, what about those other seven that Roz remembers? Uh, they must not have been as severe. I, uh, <laughs> I don't know. Either that or that. Fess up, Dave. Or I only, re- <laughs> I only remembered the uh, three significant ones. You weren't just trying know. to be a nice guy so Donna would keep working and not ask you for that raise, were you? No, no. I think that's the truth is out, Donna. Ten <laughs> times he's come back, and that's probably minimal. Donna, tell Roz how many times you said. Three. Oh. Cherie? Yeah. <laughs> she, like, had no idea times? what to say. I don't care. Never. Yeah. I Never. Uh-uh. Never come home and tell you that. Ken said, yeah, two times. Twice. Said she she asked for vacation when now, I wanted vacation. Right? <laughs> you remember those two times now? Uh-uh. No, still don't. Okay, ladies, next question. What is the one thing your husband likes best about the chair his secretary sits in most often at the office? Mm. Roz? The thing he likes most. Yeah. I guess it's shape. It's the shape of the chair, yeah. I mean, this is a little risky yeah. right here. Rather than yeah. color, I would think shape. Shape, yeah. 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 That sounds reasonable to me. Yeah. Dave said what he liked best about it was the way it makes Donna's skirt hike up. <laughs> ah, I didn't think you were paying nice attention. Shape. <laughs> Did you know that you had such a romantic, observant husband? No. And now when the secretary gets it... He never pays attention. Yeah. He really is. Guess the truth is out now. Donna, tell Roz what you said he liked about it. I said the way I hike my skirt up. Now she does it intentionally. As a matter of... Joe doesn't notice, though, because my pay isn't that great. As a matter of fact, Donna said that she was trying to get a raise and she'd been wearing yeah, shorter been skirts. for a long time. I guess that's probably one of the ones that didn't work. Right. What else are I you doing? I keep trying. <laughs> yeah, I mean... Cherie, one um, thing Ken likes best about It's not this. as hostile as last week's episode, but 
That's still awkward and kind of sh- just like, what? Yeah, and then it kind of, again, goes back and sh- the wife's like, oh, yeah, she's wanted that raise, so I get why she's showing skin in the office. <laughs> it's like, ah. <laughs> Not Product great. of its times. Yeah. I would say <laughs> the way Tony falls off of it. How does she fall off of it, Because she trips a lot sometimes. I mean, you gotta know that's not the answer. Sometimes, yeah. Well, which times in particular? She's tripped down the stairs a few times and she's fallen flat on her face. What? I mean, this is just attack mode. You should find out about (laughs) people here. The sweetest three right here. And the wife decides to attack. He said how nice and warm it is right after she gets up out of it. She likes to sit in a warm chair. It is, huh? Yeah. He must have to no, run No, see, because he's saying it. it's nice to sit in a warm right chair. Then, right then he came back to it, yeah. I think he said that last time, too. We might have missed it because he definitely sits in her warm chair. Weird. It's not not weird. Okay. <laughs> to tell that it's still warm. He'd get there awfully quick. He would, wouldn't he? I do. Why do you, Ken? Because it's warm. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Guy likes a warm chair. Tony? I mean, he does not understand it's it kind of weird. I filled it out. <laughs> but I didn't think That's I tripped nice either. Too. What, what about this tripping and falling down the stairs? And all I don't this? know where she's been. <laughs> I have never tripped. Cherie, where did you hear all those stories? You've been, okay. the, she's been the same place I have. Where did you hear all those we stories, Cherie? We from here. <laughs> Tony, she said Uh-oh. Ken told her. She's yeah. not the most graceful. <laughs> well, it's these shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Barbara? Mm-hmm. What is Tony like most about? Everything's kind of ending in just awkwardness. Yes. It's, new. it's a new chair. Mm-hmm. Sure. Tony said what he liked best. Tony, let me see the card. See, I don't know what. The way she fills it out. <laughs> I didn't say it out. Just looking at your eyes as, as you said it to me. <laughs> is he a pretty romantic guy? He notices things like that, huh, Barb? <laughs> I mean, is that just yeah. like saying she got a big ass? He does. Tony, why are you getting so red? Just no, like, I like your body. No, home to me. <laughs> Diane, tell Barbara what you said he liked about it. Because I sit there. <laughs> That's so hot. Ladies, what is the last thing that happened to you <laughs> in the news that became the talk of your husband's <laughs> office? Cherie? Um, probably that I run around without my clothes on when people are over, when we have friends over. You're a hippie. <laughs> Cocktail parties or female friends? My girlfriends are over. I tend to run around without my clothes on, and he gets kind of. <laughs> he gets really, He gets mad at me. That, that bothers him, huh? <laughs> it's weird. Yeah, yeah, just, uh, just her girlfriend. Like the times. Yeah. Yeah, it's just the girls. Yeah. What if it was a guy? Ken, then I'd worry. Ken <laughs> said, uh, "You had a uh, you had a shaving cream fight." <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we did. We had that. Mm-hmm. Tony said the time you went swimming in the nude. He never Barbara? Oh. Just got out of there quick. What about you now? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Possibly the time I delivered a car to one of his employees for him. In the nude? Well, partially. How partially was it, Barbara? <laughs> Good question. <laughs> Right. <laughs> so I have to what were you wearing, uh, my dear? A dress. <laughs> well, that seems like you'd be perfectly clothed. <laughs> well, <laughs> kind of a dress. Well, we got a case of fun. the giggles on our hands. See through. <laughs> and you you delivered the car mm-hmm. to whom? Uh, his manager. Did you, did you do that on purpose? She deli- mm-hmm. She wore a sheer see-through dress to deliver a car to his manager. Yeah, I mean, he's in the mob. He, that's confirmed in the mob. Why? Like, if you want to be in the mob, because I have to see your wife naked. That's exactly what happened to. here. Tony asked you to? It startled the manager. Oh, this dude is an exhibitionist, man. Like, he he pulled his towel off of his wife's body just to see what the neighbors would think. He yeah. asked his wife to deliver a car in a sheer just to see what... He just wants people to see 
He's an exhibitionist. Proud of her. Tony, why did you want her to do that? Title manager. <laughs> That's much better than what you told us. Tony said the, funny, the, the, the funniest yeah. thing that uh, became the talk of the office was that you got a towel pulled off somewhere. Remember that one, Barb? No. Pales to insignificance next to the dress in the car. <laughs> Diane, tell Barbara what you said. When you got caught swimming in the nude by the kids down the street. Oh. Uh. <laughs> they weren't the manager's kids, were they? No. <laughs> Just checking. Roz? That went swimmingly you? for, like, you know, debate between the three. They were all kind of in their yeah, own I mean, it's, agreement it's just there. A- it's a tough spot for the wife because, I mean, if with the way this game is played, you can get three embarrassing stories told about you. What she just did, basically. Yes. Uh, I would have to say uh, the night we spent at a, a competitor's hotel in their sunken bathtub with the body paint. With the body paint? Yeah. In the sunken tub yeah. at the hotel. Yeah. Funny how a little thing like that would have slipped Dave's mind. <laughs> <laughs> Dave said, let me see the car, Dave. You got pants. <laughs> I didn't talk the other one up a lot around the office. <laughs> Smart man. Donna, tell her what you yeah. said. I just said he's always complaining that he never sees you in the nude enough. Who? Oh. Well, maybe it's because I have the body paint on. Oh, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> you know that your husband is complaining in the office? That, Good that, rat and rat and rat in that crew. Show yourself to him? Then, well, maybe if you turn the lights on. Yeah. <laughs> you keep the lights off, Dave? No. no. Low. Not a lot. Victorian. <laughs> and, then you, and you complain to Donna that you don't... My fault that you like we'll be right back, back to ask our wives that final The question. wife kind of crushed that round. Yeah. yeah. Like she proudly told a story about her being sexy for her husband. Welcome back to Three's of Crowd. And then, final like, question. said, you're the fucking knew he had only a week to live. with Woody a joke. Woody not yeah. make Whoopi with his secretary? Cherie, talking about Ken. No. He wouldn't. No, he wouldn't. <laughs> Ken said, no, he wouldn't. And Tony said, no, he wouldn't. Roz, what about your guy? No, 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 no. What? No. No, he wouldn't. Dave said, you bet he would. <laughs> Donna said, anybody. <laughs> Barbara? Sure. Sure. Tony said, yes, of course. <laughs> Diane said, the whole neighborhood. Take a I mean, those, we got the they swing. I mean, that's those never been something. Six times. Congratulations to our secretary. Secretary's won. In a weird way, they still have it secretaries versus wives, like as a team, which no one, no one doesn't get explained at the start. No, no one really knows that it's secretaries. There's first. no prize. Uh, um, man, that was better than the first one. Yeah, it was almost slightly too civil. They needed like one slightly creepier question. There's a couple more of these, so maybe we'll find find the rest. Uh, bad, yeah. Weird. Pretty weird. That that dude, the mob guy, they definitely swing. Uh, I just think it's mob stuff. I think it's uh, like, yeah, my boss can fuck my wife. I can fuck the guy under me, his wife. It's just pass the torch. Cool. And the hippie couple was pretty like genuine and sweet too. Besides the warmth of the chair, that was the only thing that didn't get ticked off into like, all right, fine. Warmth of the chair, again, it almost felt like, well, A, my man likes a good chair, but almost like everyone came on to the show expecting it to be like crazy, sexy questions, and so it was like, all right, the chair one's up, uh, the warmth, and it's like, oh, yeah. Yeah, the only other bad one was the hiking in the skirt, when a secretary also said that. Other than that. Good job all around. I, d- I don't understand. They need. They clearly need like rounds and points and a winner. Points. Like a lot missing. But anyway, I kind of like this show. It's so it's a whirlwind. Cool. Time piece. We'll be, we'll be back next week. Probably won't do three threes a crowd in a row. We'll do something ne- different next week. And tune in Monday for watching baggage. See you guys.